I remember I used not to sleep. I couldn't sleep. So she's comfortably sitting in my house. Knowing very well that Duncan, I couldn't get what I In fact, he used to stay in my place in Kapsaret, where I was. And we trained together with Wanjiru until uh, the time when we were flying to London. When I reached 30, I think it was 31, 32, somewhere there, I stopped. The pain was too much. I didn't want to push. I didn't want to continue. So I just stopped. And that was it. So uh, I came back home from London. And I, I asked the management to get me a doctor. And uh, they organized for a doctor in, in, in Germany. So I went there, we did a number of tests, and it was costly, it was very expensive, because I remember I spent more than 1.5 million in treatment, and finally the doctor was like, Duncan, this psoas tissue doesn't seem to respond to the training, no, with the treatment, so what I would suggest you to do is to go back home and rest completely. So I came home frustrated. I don't have cash. 2012, I had no, I had nothing completely. No cash, nothing. 2012 was the time I chose to dispose my property. Either dispose it or exchange with a property which was of lower value than mine, so that the little cash it's on top will help me and I remember well I had mentioned that to a few friends of mine and I think one of the friends uh, uh, was confronted by a lady she had heard that I was I was disposing my property so she came to my place and uh, she was she asked me, okay, Duncan, I, I, I hear you want to dispose, to dispose your property. I told him yes, because I need some cash to treat myself, the injury, and to support me and my family. Uh, the lady was interested and she told me she also has a property and she wanted us to exchange. I, I, I told her, where is the property? She said, it's in Kimum. So she asked me that, you know, we can go there, see the property, and see if we can come to an agreement of exchanging the properties. I went there, I saw the property. Well, I liked it. She promised me and my lawyer that she will get the title. I remember I flew out of the country with the little cash because the property, her property was valued at 4 million. My property was valued at 9 million at that time. So uh, she was to add me 5 million on top of the property that we exchanged. So during the time of agreement, she gave me 2 million. And the remaining 3 million was to be paid on a certain period as indicated in the agreement. So I remember I, 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 I took the 2 million and uh, uh, I went to German for treatment and uh, while I was away, you know, I could call her to ask if she has deposited the title to my lawyer's place so that my lawyer can transfer the ownership of the property into my names. But she played cat and mouse game. Uh, she knew what she was doing. So when I came back home, uh, I could, you know, do a follow-up, I could call her, she was like in Nairobi, uh, doing some job, I think it was like a workshop kind of thing, that uh, when she gets back, she will get me the title. The lady played that tricks on me. At the same time, she was giving me the balance, the three million balance. So she gave me, she didn't honor the agreement as it indicates. So she started giving, giving me money in bits because she knew I was frustrated and I was broke. So she could come with like 100,000 and she knew I would, I, would, I would 
take the hundred thousand. At the same time, she is asking me that, oh, I'm still in Nairobi. Once I get back, I'll go get to the title so that you know, I, 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 we come and uh, take it to the lawyer so that the lawyer can facilitate the, uh, the, the, the ownership, transfer of ownership. She, she frustrated me because I never got the title. And for a period of like two years, she could play. She was playing that tricks. I'm not around. I'm away. I'll get you the title. Blah blah blah, kind of stuff. At the same time, when she, she was around, she would get me like hundred thousand because she knew I'm frustrated. I'm broke. I would take the hundred thousand or two hundred thousand to keep me lie low, to keep me from not making noise. I remember she played that game for, for like two, two years, two years or three years. Around 2014, I managed to get um, a copy of that title. Though it was in somebody else's name, not in her names, and she had alleged in the agreement. Because in the agreement, she, she was alleging that she was the registered owner of that parcel of land. So when I got the copy, I asked her, why is it in somebody else's name? Or, it, this is your husband. And to do the search, it showed that they had secured a loan with that title. So I came back and asked her, what's going on? He, the, the, the title is in the bank. It shows that you had taken a loan with that title. 